Deep sea creatures have evolved some fascinating adaptations to life in the deep. These include unusual shapes or sizes. Some of them even have specialized camouflage and bioluminescence to really navigate the deep ocean environment. Many are bizarre and shockingly unusual, as you can see on the right. The first example of an unusual shape or size is deep sea gigantism. This is a tendency for certain types of animals to become truly enormous in size. A well-known example is a giant squid, but there are many other examples, such as the giant isopod, the spider crab, and even the king of herrings or fish, which may be the source of sea serpent legends. It is not well known how they achieve such growth, but it can be a result of low metabolism and a long life. Some other animals, as seen here with the blobfish, are gelatinous, they have flexible skeletons, and some even have specially adapted gas spaces for high pressures. Because food is so scarce, many deep sea animals also evolve some amazing feeding mechanisms. Most of the food consists of detritus from the upper zones that fall as marine snow. Scavengers include the sea cucumber, called the sea pig, which you can see on the left. Another amazing animal is a zombie or the bone-eating worm called Ossidax that secretes acid to break down bone. This worm was even featured in an episode of the popular TV show Bones. Pelagic fish such as the, as the gulper eel have very large mouths and they have huge hinge jaws and large expandable stomachs to engulf its prey. Other fish, have extremely long fang-like teeth that point inward to ensure that its prey has little chance of escape. Some species such as the deep sea anglerfish, which most of you are familiar with in the movie Finding Nemo, and the viperfish have long thin modified dorsal fins on their head that are bioluminescent and they can be used as a lure to ambush their prey. The deep sea anglerfish in particular, though, has one of the most interesting reproductive adaptations. Males, as you can see here on the bottom right, are tiny and they attach themselves to females using hooked teeth, establishing a parasitic-like relationship for life. The blood vessels of the male and the female merges and the male fin and eyes eventually melt into hers. He lives out the rest of his life permanently attached and his sole purpose is to provide sperm. From samples collected over time, scientists saw that in certain species of anglerfish, females can have multiple tiny males attached at a time, although this is pretty rare to see. Male dwarfism, like seen in the anglerfish, is also present in many other deep sea organisms. Mates are extremely hard to find in the deep sea Therefore, they need to have special mechanisms in order to find each other and to be able to reproduce. Many deep sea animals also have evolved to be similar colors to camouflage from predators. In the deep sea, animal bodies are often transparent, such as how we see in jellies and squids. Some other fish or organisms are black, such as the black smoke fish or even red, such as many shrimp or other squids. Red light only penetrates through surface waters. The absence of red light at these depths keep them concealed from both predators and prey. Some mesopelagic fish, such as the hatchet fish, can migrate up and down the water column and therefore have silvery sides that reflect the faint sunlight and even have light organs on their bellies making them pretty hard to see. So here you see an example of a hatchet fish and you can see on the bottom it's light organs that are illuminated and have bioluminescent qualities. The majority of midwater species and almost half of all sea floor species in the deep produce their own light. This special ability is called bioluminescence. Different species of squids, jellies, fishes, worms, corals, and even tiny crustaceans use bioluminescence to attract mates, to lure prey, or even confuse predators. 
deep sea animals are truly remarkable. And at this point in time, we are really just starting to discover what exists on our planet. 